So you're about to teach multiplying fractions and you're looking for an activity which is engaging and conceptually makes sense? Well, this activity is for you. Hi, my name's Tom Moore. And if you haven't yet watched the video on partitioning the whole using your eye, well then I recommend you go back and watch that now because we're going to be using that skill a number of times through today's activity. Now you've been given the challenge of teaching students how to multiply fractions. Wouldn't it be cool if we ran an activity where students were able to discover this for themselves and truly understand what it is that's happening when we do multiply fractions? Well, we're going to go through exactly this in this activity. Let's check it out by starting off with 2 fifths multiplied by 3 quarters. So first of all, we need to know what 3 quarters looks like and we're going to use the same strategy as what we did in the previous video. That is, we're going to break our piece of paper into half and then half again to represent the quarters and I'm actually going to colour in 3 of these quarters to really make it clear to students what actually is 3 quarters. So you can see that there. Now I need to find two fifths of those three quarters. And if you remember back to the previous video, to find fifths we go half, half again, and a little bit less. So therefore it's going to be roughly here. And then I simply break up what's remaining into the quarters. So I'm going to go half of that, and then break that into halves as well. Now we know that two fifths of the whole page, well one fifth would be this row here. But two fifths would be these two rows, but I don't want the whole page, I want just the three quarters. So you can see here that two fifths of the three quarters is actually this section here. So therefore we can see that two fifths of three quarters is actually equal to six twentieths, because I've got six pieces out of 20 um, equal parts on the whole page. Now if I think about that as well, I could move these two pieces down to here to really show that it's actually three tenths. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's move these ones down here, so I'll do a little cross there like that, and we'll move them down to here, like you can see. Now, if I actually show this in another way, I've got one, two, three out of, there would be 10 of the exact same shape piece. So therefore, I've got three tenths, or 6 twentieths is equal to three tenths. And it's worth getting students to go through and do a number of these and use the model when doing so. Once they've done that, get them to come back and have a look at their final answers. That is, you can have them look at the two fifths of three quarters equals six twentieths, for example, and ask them the question, can they see a way where they could simply look at the numbers and come to an answer without possibly needing to use the model? Now at this point, hopefully some students, when they've got lots of different examples in front of them, they may be able to recognise that instead of writing of, we can simply write times. That is, two fifths times three quarters is equal to six twentieths. And that actually makes sense because there are other examples where we can say times instead of of. For example, three groups of four. That means three times four, doesn't it? And it's the same with this. If I've got two fifths of a group of three quarters, well that just means two fifths times three quarters. So there you have it. By doing this, it actually gets students to think about what it is that they're actually doing using a model, but then come up with a faster strategy by finding patterns first. Now this model actually works for multiplying improper fractions as well. Let's use this piece of paper as an example. We have one piece of paper here. Now if I wanted to multiply one and a half by one and a half, well I simply go, there's one, and I'll fold this here into half that way. So that would be one and a half. And then I'm going to multiply it by one and a half as well the other way. So that's one and a half pieces of paper. And I've got to fill in this little spot here. And to do that, I need to come up with something that is exactly the same height and width. So of course, to do that, I'm simply going to go this here and this here. And that fits in rather nicely. So one and a half multiplied by one and a half is actually, well there's one, and this is half, and this is half. So therefore it's going to be one plus a half plus a half plus a quarter. So one plus one half plus one half plus a quarter. Well that's actually going to be two and one quarter is equal to one and a half times one and a half. 
and there you go. The model works for improper fractions as well. So as you can see, this is a fantastic model which demonstrates to students how to multiply fractions. It's also a brilliant opportunity for them to go through and explore mathematics and seek patterns so that they can come up with their own way of how to multiply fractions without you needing to tell them. Now this can be quite intrinsically rewarding because when students can come up with this for themselves, it gives them some sense of pride and ownership over what they've been able to do, rather than you simply tell them. And then this coupled with extrinsic comments such as, congratulations, that's not an easy skill to be able to do, and you figured it out all on your own, really emphasizes the students what they've been able to do throughout the lesson. Now remember, there is a free lesson plan with this video, just check out the description. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Tom Moore, we'll see you next time.